on, isn't it? You look through the doors of Primark at five to nine in the morning and it looks great. It's all been hoovered, it's all been folded, the staff are standing there, they're looking great, he's getting ready for the day, he's like that. You can just make out a suicide note sticking out of his top pocket, right? Because he knows what's coming, they open those doors at nine o'clock, love, and you women might even fucking rent the place. You look in the doors, all you can see is fucking jumpers flying through the air, like that, you know. The same staff member sat in the corner rocking. Fucking hell. I've been folding those jumpers for five fucking hours. It's freaks me out, love, it does. And I'll tell you what, if you ever go shopping with your wife to Primark, ladies and gentlemen, don't let go of her hand. Not if you want to see her for the rest of the shopping day. It's not when you're a kid, you know, you'd be walking around the market with your mum holding onto her hand like that. You let go of her hand because you see something you want, and you go, oh mum, look, can I have that? She's fucked off, where's she gone? That's what women are like when they're shopping, fuck the kids, fuck that, shopping. I love shopping. Excuse me, madam, have you lost this child? Fuck that child, have you got any shoes? Get me shoes. Shoes. <laughs> I hate shopping. If you lose your wife shopping in Primark, do what I do, ladies and gentlemen. Concede defeat and just wait for her by the exit. You'll be waiting for about five fucking hours. Five hours later, she'll come out with about 500 bags at that. How much did you spend? A tenner. It's the only shop in the ice street that the bag costs more than the shit inside it. You know? It does, it freaks me out. She does all sorts of things that freak me out. Even when she's being nice, ladies and gentlemen, because we had our anniversary last week and I have a large name in the bar. I'll tell you a little bit about it because I'm not very good at romance. I'm just not very good at that kind of thing. We had a lovely meal, it was just me and the wife, you know, and uh, we sat there after this meal and that's when she starts saying weird shit. Because she does all sorts of things that freak me out. She sat there and she looks at me and she goes, Let's have a bath together. Let's have a bath together. Don't let me just like the films. But it's not that, is it? Having a bath with your wife is not like it is in the films. Do you know why? Because they like to have their bath water so fucking hot, right? If you ever see them get out of the bath, they're fucking red up to here. It looks like she's wearing a low cut stole. Right? And then always get into the bar first. Now there is a reason for this. And the reason that your wife gets into the bar first is so that she can watch you walk into the bathroom completely naked and get into the bath romantically whilst holding your bollocks up on your head. Fuck you, I'm this one, man. I'm fucking on this burning goose. Ah! You don't know, then even the lobster would get in that and go, fuck that. It's too get the fucking tap end. You can't sit back at the tap end in the bath once to what once too cold. You try sitting back and you go ah. It's all going on down our end. You've got the shower in and dripping. You look down her end, she's in the fucking lounge position. Come on monkey boy. And we do things differently when we get out of the bath as well ladies and gentlemen. We do things differently. A bloke gets out the bath, he grabs the towel and he just goes fucking nuts with it. A bloke, he gets the bath towel, he kind of does a bit of that. Here, do you remember that in school? <laughs> You've been getting ready for PE and one of your mates is doing that with his towel. You go, what do you do with that towel? You'll fucking find out. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. We did loads of weird shit in school. We did licking batteries was the best one. Do you remember that? Licking batteries, one of your mates would give you a battery. You go, here, yeah, lick that. And you go, fuck it, all right, then. Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> Fuck me, you just had a stroke! Oh no! Do it again! I was gone! <laughs> Fucking idiots we were. But he loves a weird shit, but a blog gets out of the bar. Wait, was like, Fuck those. Anyway, a blog gets out of the bar, he comes to town, he goes round the back of his neck like that, off the top of his head. He's got fucking smoke coming off like that. Grabs in, does a bit of flossing. <laughs> Yeah, he does all sorts of it. A bit of Keyhole surgery. <laughs> oh, oh, that feels good, that does. Oh, oh shit. Fuck it. Anyway, you know, so a woman gets out of the bath, they grab the towel and they just rap. I don't know if you've ever seen your wife, they go out of the bathroom and they just fucking be like, I'm trying my own time, thank you very much. What's that thing you do with it on your head? I don't know if you see your wife come out of the bathroom like this. She looks like a different fucking woman. If he's got, she's got one of those face masks on, it looks like you've been shagging a smurf. 